Hi, my name is Jesper and I'm a software developer. I will tell you how to use the interface designer in the project editor. We create a new project. We go to the interface designer in the menu and you will see a blank page uh, at the start and we have all the thumbnails here to the left. Um, we will start to look uh, at the page size. Click this button. Uh, here we can choose between some different screen sizes or we can type in our own uh, size. We can enable the orientation in different uh, modes, orientations. Uh, we here we have portrait and landscape mode, but uh, we just leave it as it is. Um, we go to the elements tab, we start by inserting a button. Uh, we can move it around. Uh, like this, or we can resize it by doing like this. Um, we can start it uh, the way we want. Let's say we want to type in PC1. Uh, we can change the color, take our orange one. We can change the size of the font, so like this. And as we can see here, we have uh, the different uh, states. We have unpressed and we have pressed, where we of course can make another appearance for the pressed button. Let's try to make it a little less here. So, um, we have of course some, some other settings. Uh, we can change the color of the, the button. We can choose this one. We can make some gradient. Let's select this one. Um, and when we are satisfied with the with the appearance, we can add it to our custom button list we have here. We can insert another one, type in uh, another name, another text for the button. We can um, align them if we want them to appear uh, in the same way. Uh, align them to the left like this. Um, and of course, we have some other functions. So then we want to add a label. Uh, let's just type in uh, front page. We drag it around just we did as with the button. We can change the color of it and of course the size. So right now it has the same uh, text as on the buttons. Um, then we can uh, change the background color uh, also from the menu here. We have a page background. We can select an image if we want to do that. Otherwise, we can just select the color. Uh, let's just take the black one here. We can make another gradient. We can change the angle if we want to do that. Or we can make the intensity uh, like this. We just select that. Um, and if we want other pages with the same appearance and background, we can add the layout to our uh, themes list. We right click, add to themes, type in a theme name, select this one. Oh, it's already existing, just call my theme 2. We select the button we want to use for the appearance of our theme, but they are uh, equal, so we just select one of them. And as we can see here, we have uh, my theme 2. So when we um, Add a new page, uh, it will get the same appearance as uh, the first one, like this. Okay, now we um, want to make some uh, DVD controlment. Um, we can uh, copy the label from the page before, and we want this to be at the same place, so we just type this, type in DVD. And we could, of course, do it with the other buttons as well. But um, we uh, will insert some volume uh, volume control. We can just insert a button. Uh, we make it a little smaller here. We can select an image for volume down. Take this one. And we don't want the, the background of uh, of the button, so we make the transparent, it all transparent like this, and we can copy the button. And 
we want one more like this so now we want to change the icon of the other buttons like this and we want to align them so they are at the same uh, uh, layout here we can do this otherwise we can make the same uh, uh, distribute them so we can make this same horizontal spacing between each other like this so let's try to copy those as well we want to have them as well on our uh, front page here we want to align them as well so okay on our uh, DVD page we also want to control uh, the play parts and so on so we just take an element group uh, that's basically multiple buttons or labels um, combined in in one group so we can just uh, select this it asks us to remove the existing elements from the page we don't want to do that just move them a little down here and uh, it's uh, quite hard to see those buttons on uh, the dark uh, background so we can try to tone them in a different color we can just select this one and of course we can select the icon we have on uh, we want this to be a darker color like this so um, then we have our two pages designed we can of course do a lot more things but um, we want to change uh, the language of the page uh, here we have some different predefined you can make your own if you want to do that uh, right now we just select Danish and as we can see here it's indicating that we have selected the, the Danish uh, language we can uh, change the title of the page and uh, if you have a customer that wants to see a preview of the page we can click here and of course save the the image if you want to take a look on an existing project you can open the base 3 project will uh, which will look pretty much the same as this one thank you for watching